Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, isometric dot paper to um, reconstruct a three-dimensional view or a corner view or perspective view of what we call orthographic drawings. Now, orthographic drawings will show in two dimensions only. A top view right here, this is a top view, a left view, a front view, and a right view. Okay? Now, some things you need to know about orthographic drawings. This means it's from the left. In other words, if we're looking at this thing from the left side, alright, you need to get one of these out and let you look at it. We're looking at a figure from the left side. Let's get out a cube and we can sort of look at it. Get this thing out. Okay, so if we're looking at a cube, and uh, if we have it in, a, in an isometric dot paper, it's sort of like this, and the left side is going to be from over here. So it's back sort of behind us. Top view is going to be straight down. Front is going to come this way, and the right is going to come from here. Okay? Top view is from straight down. We can see a little bit of that. The left view we can't really see over here. It's a little hidden. And then the front view is from here, from this side right here. And the right view is from this direction. So if we're hitting here directly, the left, the front is here. The left is behind us. The right's here and the top's here. Okay? Now, you'll notice that right here, this is an extra heavy or, or double line. What that means is that there is a difference in the height between these two. These are not on the same level. I'm looking at the top, and these two are not on the same level. Okay? One is higher than the other one. Notice these. They don't have anything, any extra heavy lines or double lines. This means these are all on the same plane. There's nothing behind or in front. Again, on the left view, those are all in the same, same plane. Now, here on the right side, we're seeing something that says, oh, watch out, these are two different planes, there's something sticking out somewhere, either up here or down here, and so we've got to look at that, okay? Now, so what we want to do is we want to take this and take it apart. Now, I want to show you how I like to do it. I like to look at the front view, and if we do this correctly, what we're looking at is this front view is going to be, let's use some contrasting ink. This front view is going to be right here and we call it front. How wide is that front view? Well, if I start here, it's too wide, so I'm going to come up here two units. And over here, on the right hand side, it goes up how far? It goes up one unit. Okay? So notice I have two units, one, two on the front, and it goes up one. I've got it up one. Now, I go over one, I can get that right there, and then it goes up two more. One, two. How far does it go up over here? One, two, three. Now, how do I know those are all on the front? Because there's nothing like this. This would say, ooh, they're not all on the front. Some of them may be behind you. So let's go ahead and say, is that our front view? Does that look like our front view? Let's do this right here. That looks like our front view, doesn't it? <clears throat> okay? Now let's look at our left view. Our left view says we've got three high. They're all there together. Well, we can't really see this left view. It comes in like this. This is our left view. It comes in like that. Uh, I've already got three up here. All we have to do is go make that two-dimensional. And we're going to make that two-dimensional just like that. We're going to come down and we're going to go like that. We're not sure what's here, but that's going to make that two-dimensional out there on the left side. So I've got one, two, three, and they're all there on that left side. Okay? Now the top. I've got one. If I come here, I've got one that goes back like that. So I can do this, and I know I've got that one. 
because I can see that. In my right view, I see the same thing. But on my top, I've got a difference in the height or a difference in the level between this one and this one. Okay, and from the front, I know that that difference is how far? It's two blocks. Well, that would be this block here, so this one comes right here. Now, from the right view, I know that that's going to be right there. Okay? So, from the right view, I've got a one block, and then I've got two up. Let's do this. Shade in our top so we can sort of see what's going on here. Give us some three-dimensional view of it, a little depth to it, and we can go from there, okay? Basically, it's not exactly straight, but you get the idea. So we can take orthogra orthographic views, okay? Orthographic views, which are two-dimensional, top, left, front, and right, and we can make three-dimensional representations out of them. Very important methods in order to be able to make sure that we can see what we're doing and design things in three dimensions. Now, in this day and age of computer graphics, this becomes pretty easy because all we have to do is say, here's what it is, make it pink, spread it out, and do it. They actually have programs that would take these right here. You put them in there and say, Phew, give me a 3D of it, and you can actually wrap around and uh, roll around 360. Uh, all that kind of stuff, uh, it's pretty neat. But your ability to understand the concepts of what we're doing is very, very important. I urge you to do as many of these examples as possible. Try them out, trot them out, work with your friends, work with your co peers, your co-students to uh, see if you're getting them correct, test each other, correct each other, help each other out in drawing these.